Are you recording right now? I am. Okay. I need to just a small snippet of me explaining this. Uh, can I fix well, it? Well, let me This is for in. evidence purposes. Okay. Let me go ahead and make it nice and big. And I'll make it like full screen. There you go. Go ahead. Okay. All right. So what has happened here is I've gone to the LIDAR from Kentucky from above, and I've pulled snippets from the you familiar with my paper and how we were looking at this Paratian's Thunderbolt Strike site. Uh, and then uh, I was I did the EMF work um, at Mount Horeb. Okay. I've captured both. As you see here, not only does it fit inside the big sink crater, but look at the circular edge where the crater rim discharge would be. Do you see that? Do you see the, cer the small circle on the left side? Yeah. And then, I'd say here. I want to, and okay. I think I see, do. Look, here, I, look, look at the outside edge of the mound as I move it into place. And you see the dark shadow? It does fit very well. And it yeah, does, that, it's... Inside, that inside uh, ring is, I mean, it might be have been, uh, say, worn away by weathering on one side a bit. Uh, say to that uh, to the uh, on this to the north north west. I'm sorry. Are you are you are you talking about the the uh, big sink crater or this Mount Horeb mound? Because the Mount Horeb mound. I'm talking about the know, Mount Horeb been, mound. Well, it has been modified by mankind. The most important part is that that the the neck the the whole of it is pretty close to the center of the small circle of the crater rim discharge on at Big Sink. So if you look, you can see there's some lifted material in the center of the larger circle. Mm -hmm. And and then there is the outer larger circle's rim continues inside partially into the smaller circle. All right. So now when you overlay the center of the neck of the mound it is basically in the center of that discharge. You see it? Mm -hmm. I can turn down the opacity a little bit too. So you can see just in the center of this mound uh, where the, the bigger circle would have been. So they would have had to they would have had to have done some some reconstruction to create a perfect neck. But I mean the fact that that fits right inside at the same zoom level is pretty awesome. Oh, okay. So this is so you didn't change any sizes or anything. This is identical. No, these are identical zooms. So again, I would just how went far here apart are they? Overall, their mileage is like twenty six miles apart. They're not. I mean, compared to the, I have a whole table in the paper. Uh, compared to the distances we're talking about, it's I mean, it's like a fifteen degree deviation. It's really not on average. You know, it could be a forty degree deviation, or it could be. a... One degree. That, what are you implying that this? What are you implying that this is? I know you're showing us the geometry, but are you saying that this is a, a in, current in, current out, ring current uh, system? Well, you'd have to read his paper to know everything, but it, it, it yeah. suffice oh. to say this might be indicative of one of these uh, things that he could test his theory to see if it is one. Uh, nice. it, and they can be worn. Not worn time. down okay. uh, over time, or otherwise modified by mankind. Well, so yes, this has. But the 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 erosion. These are only twenty six miles away, so the erosion rate is going to be the same between this crater that you're seeing here and the Mount Horeb. Well, uh, true, mound. but there could have been a, a like I don't want to say I don't know the entire geography, but there could have been a, a river go a massive flood go through there one day. You know, like or got. I'm not uh, sure. Not here. That didn't hit but, this one. Uh, that didn't hit the not, other one. You know? Not here, because this is well. The other one, the creek is forty feet below, so it wouldn't achieve that kind of flood. So the only other erosion would be the farming and such, but that wouldn't change the diameter. No, um, no, but that's you guys, good. You guys are missing the the central point is that the worshippers of this, right? They entered through the neck to go to the center yes. to do their practice. Why did they put the neck? In at all, they could have just gone. I mean, there's plenty of uh, concentric hinge mounds around the world without a this without the neck. So why did they put the neck in at all? And here, when we take the the you know without changing the size and overlay this inside of it, the neck is going into 
the middle. And you can see when I put that there, you can yeah. just see the black outline on the outside. And you can also see this inner curve to the right there. And so if I turn down the opacity, you can actually see the smaller crater rim dish. You see what I'm saying? You're basically saying it could be... Um... Are you saying it's the other side of one of these connections? Uh, I think what I think he's saying inherent, is... I think it's an errant beam. That's what I was asking. It's an yeah, errant I think, beam. I was just going to say it was it was created the crater, and then the smaller creator, crater was created that created the opening, and that's why there's an opening there. Right, and that, that one beam, the, the reason the mound stands alone is that it's an errant discharge. There's another one... There's other ones throughout Kentucky. This one just happens to be 26 miles from the central strike site. But there's another one. I will show you exactly where it is. One one second. There's uh, two others that I know of. One is in the northern part of Kentucky, but even closer down here in Madison County. Where are we at here? So I'm I'm curious. Are these do these have a name or are they? Oh yeah, uh, yeah, they're they... well known. Okay, there it is. Uh, Here's the other one. Are they loop currents? Well, are they what? They they look like they were taking currents? advantage of uh, a certain effect that the the mound seemed to have, at so least. The other mound that we were looking at is di almost directly north of. You see where I've got that highlighted at bogey circle pointed down. The other one is right there. No, but I don't think they were loop currents. I think there were uh, connections and between there... where the where the thunderbolt comes down or the, the 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 thunderbird comes down, and one side of it's positive and the other side's negative, and yeah, through the ground. Well, actually, it would, been, it would have been a concentric. It would have been a concentric column. Uh, and each it's beam like would have been antenna, its own. But... They both, well, it is now for sure a ring antenna. Uh, <laughs> but the the that that I that I already confirmed. But the the beams themselves appear each to have within them a complete circuit. And so, so you're each, saying these were formed at the same time by twin pillar lightning. Uh, well, have you you have to read uh, Peret's paper on the. Uh, the 56. I mean, just for gist, for brevity. I mean, is that a suggestion, sort of? It would have been the same, yes. They would have been like... You remember that game where you have to defend against the missiles coming in and you have to blow them up individually? Yeah. So it, they, they, would, they would be coming down. There would be a central pillar, which is this big um, beam, and then there would be some errant uh, bifurcations or some somehow is coming up around, and they would have landed at various places main uh, connection for a region. Who knows how far this re region covered the needs of the system to equalize. And then there would have been uh, basically the equivalent of just random striking that would have seemed to the locals who, again, different tribes may have existed in these far, these far places, um, may have been occupied by different tribes who never even talked to each other. They would have seen selected or targeted by these these beams, and there would have been still a devastating effect. Even even when you're talking about uh, this Mount Horeb, and don't forget, people is 200 feet wide. So this mm. crater you're looking at is 200 is 200 feet of the 18 of, of the one mile crater. And so the but this 200 foot crater to create a 200 foot crater, the amount of energy is show stopping. Let's say the least. Uh, it would kill a lot of things around it. Yep. Hey, hey oh, real quick. What what is um what's at the Mount Horeb site right now? Is there anything there? Uh, just the mound. The Peters Village is uh, far away. But if you guys recall, nearby, I did mention at one time when the area was settled, there was an entire earthwork series, just like at Newark, and. Oh. One of the ones, yeah, because it, it's strange. Because like there, there are mounds. Like we, we were talking, there's some random mounds Western Pennsylvania that all have satellites and radio antennas on them now. Yes, 
and and in particular this one, the cosmic egg shaped mound was the one here, and it is older than it's more like the age of the uh, Great Serpent Mound. It's older than the Newark Chillicothe sites. It's much older. So yeah, made uh, before the uh, it's, gone. it's gone now. You can you can only the find gods. little. There is an entire book if people just go to the internet and they search uh, Lexington, Kentucky Archive Mummies. There, in the document that comes um, the history of Lexington, Kentucky, it has a full list uh, from Raffinesque, who was quite a character, but he had no reason really. Um, it has an entire list of the earthworks that are now gone. Here they are. So... Uh, of them, Mount Horb's the only one that's really still left. So it's fantastic that it is the one that's left, though, because it seems to be the one we, we need the most. Well, that's good. Yeah, but I wanted to show you, because I, I did this while we were talking. I, I hadn't done this yet where I, I had them at the same zoom level and then just layered them to see if if, if it would fit inside. Fit, yeah. And, it didn't just it fit same, inside. Perfect. You can see You can see that black edge on the left side. Mm-hmm. See where the first original discharge, and then the second discharge, leaving another outer uh, outer edge, but on the in the center of the older crater. Now, is this, old, is this a crater second. or is this a bump? <clears throat> no, this, this is a hole. This is a hole, and uh, because it's karst topography, they uh, for a long, long. I'm time, totally so seeing it in a different way then, because I was seeing it as a bump. Yeah, I was seeing a mound. I was seeing yeah, a mound. mound. This is a mound. When I'm moving, yes, that's a mound. that's a mound. I know for sure. That this was a is mound. a crater. So it's a negative to the positive. That's a hole. That's correct. <laughs> so this whole more this whole mound would fit inside. But uh, each one of those streamers on the side, of fifty the strict streamers, one's going to be positive, one's going to be negative. So uh, maybe well, one came out. Of, one came out of the sky. Well, so, they're both, they're both, all of it would have come from the, at least the ionosphere, if not another charged body uh, above okay. us. But, but uh, what this is during my like presentation, me, I'll explain it all to you. There you go. This looks to me like a, <laughs> each one, each individual of the 56 beams is a completed, is a complete circuit of its own. And this one could have yes, been actually, because it's a positive and negative after, foot. After the entire thing broke down, um, I seem to have lost where it was. Well, well, let's just be totally honest. Whenever you're looking at a strike like this, you're going to have massive little strikes around it. Just like a thunderstorm yes. could have a bunch of tornadoes spawning off of it, you're going to have the massive uh, strike and then a bunch of other things around it. But that's just one strike. It's just a massive you guys uh, type of lightning bolt compared to some of the other, um, you know, things that we're talking about like i mean electricity has many many discharge paths depending on the condition of the atmosphere it's passing through 